up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today, I'll be talking about the reviews in anime. Since I talk about the Korean dramas that I reviewed few months ago, if you want to check it out, the link is down below in the description box. I have been an anime fan since I was grade 6 because one of my classmates introduced to me. The first anime I watched before also that is Sailor Moon. I was still a little kid that time when I watched but I wasn't really fond of anime that time because it just came out in Filipino channels. But it is really fun to watch anime! So the shirt I'm wearing right now is Oraraka Ochako. I bought this from Otaku Expo 2020 before the lockdown and the quarantine. So it has been months since I haven't gone to anime cons yet because all the events are cancelled due to quarantine. But today, I'll be talking about the ratings of the anime I watch. So let's start this video. So the first anime I will read is Fairy Tale because Fairy Tale is one of my favorite animes ever since I was little. Especially I cosplay as Lucy Heartphilia during the anime con and that's one of my favorite cosplays. The story is about Lucy joining the Fairy Tale Guild and Natsu and Happy introduced her to them. As she joined the guild, they became happy together. Especially they joined together with other Fairy Tale members in different arcs. I have been finishing all the episodes of the anime through TV since two years or three years ago. If you guys haven't watched it yet, you should watch it. I will give this rating a 5 over 5 because the fight is very amazing, especially Natsu uses his all of his powers. And actually, the fairy tale members and the other guilds help each other defeat the enemies. And what I like about fairy tale is Urza has different costumes also when she fights. She has different swords also and her costume represents what wizard magic will she use. And Lucy Heartphilia, I have been collecting her keys and it's very very lovely. Especially the, even though the costume is kind of simple, but the outfit is very amazing. Especially the uh, X7 91 version and the 92 version. It's very cool. Especially her hair is very long. The second anime I'll recommend to you is Love Life because I have been introduced by my friend that she cosplays Love Life characters especially the story revolves about Honoka encouraging some of her friends to join the Love Life School Idol Club and just a friendly reminder I might say some spoilers of the story but that would be fine also and I hope you still watch it because Spoilers will ruin everything. It's about the nine member idol group that the name is Muse and Aquars. Aquars is in the second season which is Love Life Sunshine. And the first one with the Muse is Love Life School Idol Project. And I give this rating 4.5 over 5. It's because Honoka one time she wanted to give up when one of the members left. Especially she was one of her close friends when she was small which was Kotori. Umi ended up getting angry at her and arguing with her so that made me give that rating but the story is really amazing and I recommended you to watch it I cosplayed as Honoka, Ellie, Yuwatanabe and Hanamaru from Love Live Third anime I'll tell you the review about is Haikyuu yes I really love Haikyuu also even though it's focusing about volleyball because I have been inspired to play volleyball before after I watch Haikyuu also even though I joined as an extracurricular activity due to focusing in lessons at time as I keep watching that anime uh, I started to like all the characters especially one of my favorite characters are Oikawa and Hinata Shoyo Oikawa has a even though he's rarely 
rarely gets mad or he rarely gets serious because he keeps laughing it out during the volleyball game. He's a very strong member, especially many girls like him, especially me. <laughs> also, the stage play actor, which is Kosuke Asuman, he's really cool in the stage play as Oikawa, really. But I support him with other stage play characters he does, especially Aiko Ayuma. Yuma. His Japanese name of Asuma. So I give this rating 5 over 5 because the story has a lot of concepts. Especially it talks about the training, how they play each other as 6 on the team. And I cosplay as Oikawa by the way. If you want to check it out, my Oikawa makeup tutorial, the link is down below in the description box. The game is has also training arcs which they play with Nekoma and also Kuro Dani Academy and Bokuto and Kuro looks good together especially they are both funny. The next anime I'll talk to you about is Kimetsu no Yaba. So that anime is about Tanjiro who's training for the fight to defeat the enemies together with the pillars. In that anime, I cosplayed as Shinobu Kocho. If you want to check the makeup tutorial of Shinobu, the link is also down in the description box. I give this rating a 5 over 5 because the story is kind of tragic, especially some of the members died. Especially especially from the pillars even though I like the manga version better but even though I didn't finish it's still really fun I recommend you to watch also Kimetsu no Yaba Haikyuu also just to remember the last anime but not the least is Fruits Basket Yes, Fruits Basket because Fruits Basket talks about a girl who helps other people especially they're part of the Zodiac magic which is also kind of like a curse like when they go near each other they will turn into different kinds of animals. One of the members there are the ones that she really loves the character. I kind of forgot their names because I just recently watched it even though I finished all the episodes so I hope you can understand me. It's also available in Netflix by the way all of them except for Fairy Tale and Love Life if it's not available in Netflix I recommended you to watch it in GoGo -Go Anime because it loads fast there especially the quality is really good and just for a friendly reminder Haikyuu is still happening until now especially the part 2 of the season 4 come out I haven't watched it recently since I have been busy in school and I was I'm focusing on Emily in Paris and Record of Youth K-Drama. Grabe, you should really watch also Record of Youth. It's very amazing. And that's all for the rating of the anime that I really watch. And these are based on my honest opinions because everyone has their own opinions of the animes they watch. And that's for the otaku world because I'm also an anime fan aside from K-pop fan. I hope that you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to follow my Instagram account which is kawaii at cosplays. And that's all for today and see you soon. Goodbye! And become a weeb!